All right, hi guys, and welcome to the advanced 4x4 example solve section. Um, in each video in this uh, tutorial module, I'll be doing two 4x4 example solves using more sort of advanced methods and techniques. And I'll be going a little bit more quickly than I did in the intermediate 4x4 example solve videos. Okay, so in this example solve, we can have a look around first and see whether we're going to do the white or the yellow center first. Um, I do notice that from this angle, if I do a white R prime, I'm going to get these two bars, which, are, which is very handy. And I think I'm going to actually execute it so that my white center will end up on this right hand side. So if I do a wide U prime like that, and then do U prime wide R prime to attach those two, that keeps this block connected. And then when I do a U prime, I can kind of do it and rotate at the same time. Now I've got these two, which I can solve like that, and then insert those two, like so. And actually, um, when I was doing that first white center, I noticed this red and uh, yellow edge. So I can immediately insert that into our cross layer, like so. Now I have a couple of different options for the next edge. Um, I might do, I'd probably do the yellow and green ones next. So F, U, R, like that. And then do the yellow and orange, like so. And as I was doing that, now, as, I, as I was doing those first three cross centers, these three green ones were formed on the bottom here. So what I can do is do U, R to U prime, and then R prime, U, R prime, to get this orange one there. Move it over to the left-hand side, shift it to the bottom, then do these two. And remembering that this red one is going to be here. So when I come back down like that, I can move this red, room, red one over to that position. And then, I, then I'll have two bars like that and then finish off the centers. Now, as soon as I do that, I've got this uh, blue and yellow one here and this other blue and yellow pieces like this. So I'd solve them like this. And then flip over. And as I was doing that, I noticed that this white and blue edge was solved in the back left there. So what I'm gonna do is do this white and red, uh, it's gonna do a slice move U and then fill in these two slots. Because if I do a slice move U, and don't touch these back ones, then when I slice back, this one's going to be preserved. Um, I think that's better, or I think that's at least a little bit better than, you know, taking this one out and starting it all over again. Um, so I'll go slice move U, white and, white and orange, white and orange, and then white and green down there, slice back. And as I was slicing back, I noticed this uh, orange and green one, and this orange and green one is back here. So I can insert that, slice, and I'll attach this, I'll put this blue and red one down there so that when we slice back, we get these two. Now, um, there's a few different options that we can do for this last pair. Um, I can either take this out to the top and do a last two edge algorithm, or I can, um, or I can insert like that with a rotation, slice, flip, and then slice back. And now I've done my cross centers and, um, and edges. So now I'm going to do three by three stage. So I've got this pair, this pair, this pair, and this pair. OLL and PLL. Okay, second example solve, and I immediately notice this yellow bar here. So I'm gonna find the other two yellow pieces, and they're there and there. And I want to, because these it's pretty easy to solve these into the bottom, I'm going to try and influence the white center. So I notice I've got these two white center pieces like that. So I can do something like U, L prime, U, L, then U2, L, like that to solve those. And whilst I was doing that, these two white centerpieces also remain on this left hand and front hand front sides here. So I'm going to do L2 wide U prime. And as I'm doing that, I also notice this uh, blue and yellow edge. So I'll solve those and then go straight away and insert this blue and yellow edge and then start working on um, my yellow cross. So I've got this red and white, uh, sorry, yellow and yellow and red and yellow and red up here. So mm, the best thing to do is probably D prime U2, R2, U, like that. And then I've got the yellow and greens, this one and this one, like so. Now the first thing that I see is the, are the blue pieces on this top side here. So I'm gonna do something like this with this one. 
like that. Then I've got these two red ones, which I can solve there and then solve these two down onto this right hand position like that. And then finish off um, the orange and the green centers like so. And luckily enough, um, this last yellow cross piece was already formed. So I'll just put it into the cross position and then start with my next, uh, with my edge pairing. So in this case, um, I can't actually see this blue and white one immediately. And, but I do see the white and red one, the white and red corresponding pieces here. So I'm going to slice with a U move like that, insert that one. This one is luckily already solved the blue and red down here. And then I've got the white and orange, this white and orange one is here. So I'm going to slice it back like that. And as I was slicing back, well, I noticed that attached to this white and orange one was the uh, blue and orange. So I know that's going to end up back here in that position and the other blue and orange pieces up here. So I'll immediately go ahead and solve that. So slice, then I'd insert the white and green. Then I've got these two. Now I see I've got this F2L pair here and I want to solve these two without uh, messing up this F2L pair here. So if I insert them like that and then do a slice move like that, that's going to mess up that F2L pair. So what I can do is either, what, what I would probably do is do a slice move and then the inverse of that flipping algorithm. So R prime F, R F prime, R U prime, R prime, U, like that. Then I can insert this one first actually, then rotate and insert this one, then solve this pair into the front here, and then this pair into the back, then OLL, and then PLL. So that was a very easy three by three stage.